Hello ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards. Uh, today we are going to look at a, uh, a beginner's tutorial about data grid view. What we are going to see, we are just going to see how you can add uh, columns and rows uh, in your data grid view, okay? You can see, you are going to see how you can do this in code. So, uh, fire up your IDE. I will be using Visual Studio uh, 2013. You can use any. I mean for it because my computer is a little bit slow. So uh, come uh, create a new Visual C sharp application a Windows form. I'll call it uh, adding rows and columns. Then OK. No, it will create for us a form. Here is the form. Let me resize it a bit. So, uh, what I'll do, I'll come here, uh, drag data grid view from the toolbox. Okay, then uh, dock it in the parent container, which is the form. Double click the form. Uh, it will take me to the form load event. In the form load event, I'll just call a method up known as update. Actually, this is update method, we are going to write it in a second. So, uh, update dg view. Then, uh, let's now write the update method, let's say public void update. Okay, then uh, what we are going to do, the first thing, we are going to add columns. To add columns, remember we've already uh, uh, dragged the data grid view one. So just say data grid view one. We set the column count. Say data grid view one dot column count equal to four. I'll give it four. You can give it any. Then data grid view one. Okay. Then the first column dot columns. Remember, this will return for us an array. We pick the first element in the array. Then we assign its name property uh, to position. That is the position of the team. Remember, this is a small app about uh, teams. Okay, about a league. Then data grid view one dot columns. The second element in the array. We assign its name property uh, to teams. Then, uh, w lastly, what, I'll, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy paste these ones and add them here. So this one will be the third element in the array. Then this one, the fourth one. Now, after teams, we have points, of course. After points, uh, we have games played. Right now, if let me run the app. We see. Actually, I'm expecting uh, columns, but no rows. Because what we've done, we just added the columns. You can see. Okay, you can resize the columns. But you can see there are no rows. To add rows, uh, let's come to the code. Okay, so. I'll say. Add rows. Now, uh, the first thing uh, to add row, we're going to create an array list that is going to uh, represent each row, each and every row. So, array list is equal to new array list. Then, uh, in the row, we are going to add uh, the first element. Remember now, this is a row. The first element will be the position, which is 1. The second element uh, will be, after the position, we are going to have team. I'm going to say. Then the third element in the row, uh, 
after the team we are going to have points i'm going to say 87 points and then lastly in that particular row uh, we're going to have games i'm going to say after 38 games then remember these ones we've just added uh the specific elements in the in the row Ac actually in the in the array list okay but we've not yet added it to the data grid view so to add it to data grid view say data grid view one okay we're going to add it to rows so say uh, dot rows okay that will return an array containing rows then in that array we add dot add then row but remember row is an array list so we have to convert it to uh, array because this thing is expecting the add method is expecting uh, an array it's not expecting an array list that's what we are going to do uh, for the second row so i'll just copy paste those ones and say second row and then add one so you can see uh, we're just uh, reassigning the uh, row okay row dot add then this will be position two and then uh, this one i'm going to say a uh, chelsea here I'm going to give it uh, 82 points after 38 games. Then uh, we're now going to have the third row. The third row I'm going to give to Arsenal. I'm going to give it uh, 78 points after 38 games. Okay, so guys, uh, so far we've added the columns, we've added the rows. Let's run uh, our small app and see. As you can see, guys, uh, here we have our app. You can see that we have the position 1, 2. Actually, this one should be 3. We should just change 3 here. Then teams, points. Uh, games okay so hope you've enjoyed the tutorial hope you've learned how to add rows and columns uh, through code okay please if you enjoyed the tutorial subscribe to this channel uh, rate this video uh, share it like it okay see you next time take care